uh, with injuries. Uh, a Rob has a hamstring, and uh, uh, Akeem has a uh, has an ankle sprain. So uh, we'll see where, where that goes and how how that is. Um, you know, losing the game is tough. It's difficult. Uh, too many penalties. Twelve penalties. One hundred and fifteen yards. Uh, start. You know, the, the first half for us to be able to. Uh, let them start with the ball at the minus 40 twice and then within our own territory is, uh, you know, we can't have that. And so we got to get more points in that first half offensively. I thought the second half, um, the defense played better. Uh, you know, um, we had that, that deal down there at the, at the one yard line going in for the touchdown, put us back a little bit. Um, you know, second half was, there's a lot of, lot of ups and downs and emotionally, emotional across the board. Uh, special teams is big getting that. That, uh, that fumble, we talked all week about that with getting the ball away, and special teams did that, and for, for Iggy to pop it out for 36 to scoop and score. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, for the when they went up six and for us to get the ball, for, for Justin to, to lead that offense down there and finish with a touchdown is uh, it was really good. But in the end, we didn't finish, you know, and, and gave them the chance to – to make that field goal in the end and win it, and uh, and that's where we're at. So with that, I'll go ahead and open it up. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Um, I, I didn't see it, um, but you, you can't in those situations. You got to be able to get off the field, you know. So um, I think that's one example of us making sure that we're we don't have that stuff happen. No, I mean, I just I don't know about the two teams. I just look at what we have with 12 penalties. It's too many, and uh, that's the for for us. We gotta um, because what it does is it just it pushes you back, or it gives them free yards. And um, it, it's it's uh, it's a rhythm game, and you want to stay in rhythm. You want to stay away from penalties, and I feel like uh, we need to be better there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we tried to steal a few yards there the play before. Watt made a good play, tipped the ball down, credit to him. Um, and so we were, we, he could have went either way there realistically. Uh, you, could, you could try to throw the, the Hail Mary and have something happen or, or try to kick the, uh, the, the, the field goal. Obviously, we chose that one. And, and I think both are, are low. But, um, you know, it would have been nice to, to get a few extra yards on that previous play. Uh, we, no, because I think that's, you know, Sean knows. I mean, we were, we were really uh, excited going into that drive, very confident, felt good about, hey, man, you know, here's where they're at. They got the one time out. They got to get a field goal to win it. Um, schematically with what we do, we want to make sure that we keep them in bounds, wrap up. Um, and then we, we gave them some, some free yards there, too, with, with uh, some defensive all sides and neutral zone stuff. So, uh, again, that's probably what we'll look back and, and see. They had, the, they had the false start there that kicked them back five yards. And then, you know, they had that, that third down, which made it fourth and inches where they ultimately kicked it. So um, those are moments that we got to understand where we're at. You know, you get a, a quarterback like Ben Roethlisberger, he, he can make you pay. And a credit to their coaching staff for, for finishing that game and not giving up at the end. I know Matt's a loss, but for Justin to have those passes to A-Rod mm -hmm. and Cooney to bring you guys all the way back, I mean, what, what the, how important is that in, in your whole grand scheme of things with him and his development? Yeah, the, the big picture for him uh, is great, uh, you know, when when they when they scored they kicked that field goal went up six, there was a, a really pretty neat moment um, of just looking on the sideline and you could feel it from the from the players like okay, we fought back to get to this point where a touchdown wins it and then I looked over at Justin and he had this um, this smile on his face where he was it was like it was his time, and um, to see that. Uh, the confidence that gives you as a as a coach when you see that. I mean, it was like he was almost hoping that this was going to be the situation. And then for him to follow through with that and make those plays that he made, it was a really, really good feeling on that sideline. And I think so when you talk about the growth for him and for the offense and, and just our team, team in general, like you, that's a moment, right? That's a moment. Um, but in the end, uh, we lost. And that's when you're in that locker room right there. This is a team game, and that's what our guys care about. That's what we care about, and we gotta we gotta figure it out. Matt, specifically on the deep shot to A. Rob, what did you see on that play that opened up and then obviously the throw? Yeah, well, A. Rob ran a good route. I mean, Justin. I thought the the one thing too, um, as we went through this game, I, I thought our offensive line, especially against this front, they did a good job of really making sure that T. J. Watt didn't affect the game. 
um, and along with Hayward too. So he had time. Uh, he made a nice throw. I thought you, you, you guys probably felt more downfield shots today, uh, having an opportunity to do that. And that was one we connected on. Uh, there's a, it's a, we need to get more of those and then execute. And, you know, we ended up doing that in the red zone. But again, Justin being able to kind of feel that, st uh, stay on time with his feet in the pocket, make a nice throw, A-Rob make a nice catch, um, is, is, it was good for us. The, the fourth pass offensively was pretty clunky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, it's a, it's not an easy, it's a difficult environment out here um, when, when you're when you're out here getting going. And there's some things that that we want to always. I think the biggest thing is like when you say the word clunky, it's probably just more rhythm and tempo in and out of the huddle. Um, you know, we had we had the one play where we called a timeout, and but other than that, I mean, there, there's just a, it's it's the communication we want to keep that going in and out of the huddle. If you have any formation motions or shifts, you got to keep that going. You got the play clock. So uh, again, with, with Justin being a, a rookie and, and going through these, these experiences are good for him, just understanding that. And then I thought that starting with him and the rest of the guys coming out that second half in a tough environment down like that, that they, he really showed um, how he was able to improve with that, you know, with the offense. In particular, what did you do to try to neutralize CJ Watts in the second half? He had a couple big sacks early in the game. Yeah. Like four, you know, fourth pass, then it's all history to get to 16 yeah. sacks. Yeah. Well, you know, he's going to get his, his production. That's going to happen because he's too good of a football player. You just can't have it be over the top where it's, it's, it ruins the game and affects it so much that you just can't. It affects how you call a game. So, uh, you know, give credit to, to Coach Laser and, and Coach Juan, the O-line, and, and being able to, you know, be able to get some chips and slams on the edges. And, and then the, the guy's got to execute too. The offensive line has to execute. Justin's got to stay on time. The wideout's got to get open. And in the end, um, I thought that we were able to, to do that more so in that second half. And that, that's where, um, you know, when, you, when we go back and watch the tape, we want to see, um, you know, that kind of stuff more often in the first half. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's um, it it it's again. I did not see it, so it's hard for me to to comment yet because I I haven't seen it. Um, I think we all understand it's a very very emotional game. These guys on it's a different deal when you're watching on TV. It's a different deal when you're. I mean, it's 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 an emotional game, and so that's not an excuse in anything. But we just gotta we gotta be smart, and and it's also an emphasis this year, right? It's a major emphasis. So knowing that it's a major emphasis. We all as coaches and players got to make sure that you just don't even put it in the gray area, right? Don't put it in that area. And, and you, did, you guys did a great job. You worked like hell to get off the field. So come off the field, right? And celebrate with your guys. And so, again, I got I to gotta see it. I didn't see it. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's one of those deals that we know they're emphasizing it. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I still got to look at it. Uh, and it doesn't matter what, what I think and when I look at it, but the biggest thing is I think what they're trying to direct is whatever you do, don't do it to the, to the opponent. Do it to your team, your own teammates, right, if you're celebrating or anything like that. So that's the rules, and, and we got to follow the rules, and, and that's as simple as that. Matt, on, on that touchdown you ran by CJ, did you get a, a clear description on what the penalty was for that? And were you expecting a personal foul on those following plays of that or roughing the passer? Um, so the, the first question that you asked, um, I, I got it from, I, you know, the first question you asked, I, I uh, no comment on that, you know. What kind of explanation are you seeking on that, right? on, the on the James one? Um, that it was a, a cut in the box, you know, that, which is a rule. But yeah. again, I got to I got to see it. And I, I don't I don't have a comment. I'm a, I don't have a comment on that play. Yeah, I mean, again, it's a it's a fast game down there for those guys, and so I know it's it's not easy. Um, and so we just, uh, again, the rules of like taunting and everything else is protecting the quarterback. And uh, luckily, Justin bounced back up, and it, it didn't it didn't phase him. But you know, I, I was just asking him like, was it 
was it close and stuff like that. And they, they gave me, um, they gave me, uh, you know, what they saw. And it, it is, it's a quick game down there. It's hard. Well, we just got to, yeah, you're right. It's it's not three and six is not where we want to be. Uh, we have the bye coming up. And, you know, the guys are in there. They, they care. And um, But in the end, it, it's going to be about doing it. You know, we got to do it. And so um, a chance for us right now with the bye to get healthier, um, both mentally and physically. And, um, you know, it, it's, you know, you lose four in a row. You got you to figure out the only way to, to get rid of that sting is to win. So we got to, unfortunately, it's never fun going into a buy on a loss. So now we got to, you got to um, self evaluate, self reflect everybody. And that's what the guys talked about in the locker room. And just make sure that, uh, you know, you, you do keep fighting. Because the one thing is, is I think we all saw it is, um, you know, a tough environment. The guys fought, they fought. You got to give them credit for that. But in the end, not enough credit because we didn't win for all of us. Coach Trevor, our last one, you missed opportunities offensively. You talked about the touchdown that came back, the interception from. Cam Hayward, nothing you can do about that. But can you talk, tell us about what happened on the one drive where uh, Justin Fields came to bootleg out to TJ Watt's side? Yeah. And they could boot him just right there and he could stick you out of field goal. Yeah, it took us out of range. That's a play, there's a little bit of a risk with, with a, a naked like that. And I mean, I was watching uh, Watt from the snap of the ball and, and right away his first step, there was, it was straight upfield. And that's hard as a, as a quarterback as you're coming back out to the right and your back's to him. You turn around, he's right there. So you're right, that, that got us out of field goal range. So those are those are ones that we always look back at and say, darn, I wish I wish we would have done something different there and helped out that way. But he made a good play. And I think right before that, you guys saw we had a naked bootleg going to the left. He hit Cole Komet. So they, you know, it, it's, that's a part of the game. And that's always ones that, that we look back at and wish we, we could change.